classy and chic winter outfits that are really easy to recreate. Today I'll be sharing a lookbook of outfit ideas with styling tips along the way of how you can very simply copy the look without blowing the budget. I've got a couple of new in pieces and some old favorites from my capsule wardrobe. Price wise, nothing creeps more than high end of the high street and I have linked everything I featured in the description box below. So let's get started. Outfit number one. While it can be slightly harder to look chic in winter than it does say in summer, with a few styling tips, it's not impossible at all. A really easy look to recreate is going head to toe in one column of color. While it may be one of the big fashion trends for spring summer, that certainly doesn't mean we can't reach for it year round. And it happens to be one of my favorite go-to looks, particularly when I don't know what to wear. If in doubt, color block. It never fails to elevate your outfit. So here, as you can see, I decided on navy but the tone you choose really doesn't matter at all. Whatever the shade you seem to have on repeat throughout your wardrobe is definitely the easiest color to choose. Now it's been surprisingly mild here recently, so I've been able to get away with the odd blazer or two, but this outfit would work just as well with a winter coat instead. I like the juxtaposition of a beautiful jumper, my tailored trousers, the gold button detail on my blazer, all of that polish brought back into the realm of smart but casual with my trainers. It feels classy, on trend, and yet it's a very easy look to put together. If you're looking for a new blue blazer, there are definitely a lot of great options about at the minute. From double-breasted viscose for under £35 to sustainably trace wool for £135. I shall list a little selection of my favourites in the description box below. Outfit number two. Sometimes the trick to looking chic in winter is about thinking of the comfort factor first and foremost. It's very, very hard to feel stylish when you're absolutely frozen to the bone. So don't be too harsh on yourself with the styling. I tend to wear tights layered under loads of winter outfits. If you don't like the feeling of it under trousers, go for a chic pair of pop socks. They've definitely had a bit of an upgrade of late. The result of having that base layer practical will just give you so much more freedom when it comes to your actual look. I've got a thermal t-shirt underneath that jumper and a pair of black opaque tights underneath my jeans. Styling it this way enabled me to wear one of my favorite pairs of flats and though that jumper is warm, it's only actually a light layer. I finished with a lighter coat to lift the outfit visually but if you don't have a beige one, I think maybe a light gray would look equally lovely. Or match with your shoes if you prefer. Now, if you fancy something shorter, I spotted this snuggly teddy coat, which I thought would work equally well with an outfit like this. Or for warmer days, a classic neutral blazer always looks great. I've got that blazer on my wish list actually, so do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. It's a very simple look that keeps me warm and toasty without having to have too many chunky layers. Outfit number three. Though you can't tell, I've actually got tights under this look too. I was heading out the door on the school run and I thought I might need just that extra layer underneath. But really the joy of this outfit is styling in some of those classics. A favorite Breton striped top, a camel coat, a pair of leather trousers, all key essentials for me in my capsule wardrobe. And because they're so classic, virtually everyone from H&M to the row will have some variation of these pieces. You can absolutely invest in these staples, whatever your budget. Or think about going second hand. I would recommend Imparfait Paris for Breton tops and maybe Vestier Collective for a camel coat. I am particularly fond of stripes and camel sitting side by side, but the addition of the leather trousers gives the outfit a bit of an up-to-date edge. You could easily switch out my trousers for a faux version instead if you prefer. And if you missed it actually, I did a full styling video with this pair if you're looking for a little bit more inspiration. I shall link that in the description box below so you can watch it after this video. But do let me know if you found a lovely alternative too in the comments section below. Outfit four. 
I bought this cutout jumper from COS a couple of seasons ago now, but as luck would have it, the cutout trend is still going strong. If anything, it's even bigger for 2022 than it was before. While the runway and the high street is full of midriff bearing options, I much prefer taking a more subtle approach to the trend. You don't need to follow the trends to the letter. Just a sprinkle of the look can help you feel up to date. So do have a look in your own wardrobe if you already have any cutout options you could reach for this season. But if not, don't worry, this look works with or without the holy details. If however you are looking for something similar for spring summer, I like this interpretation made from the hugely sustainable fabric Ecovero. And I thought this was a really elegant version at just £28. I've styled this for those milder winter days, hence minus the coat, but obviously that would be easy to layer over the top if you needed it. The key points to remember with this kind of outfit is trying to contrast your textures. So my jumper is ribbed cotton, sat against soft moleskin with my trousers. The scarf is a waffle knit, and if I needed a coat, I'd probably go with a smooth wool one instead. All of that combined together gives a tonal look more depth and interest. And doing it with a collection of beige tones is a surefire way to make your winter ensemble look more expensive. Outfit five. Staying with shades of camel now, but this time adding a couple of grey tones into the mix. These jeans are made from organic cotton, and I love the fit and the marl effect of the grey wash. So I tend to reach for these a lot, particularly throughout winter. It feels a little bit unexpected, and the camel tone warms that slightly harsher grey. It's a contrast that I think really works. I also really love adding big blanket scarves into an outfit. They can really take a look in a totally different direction. And obviously there's so many different ways to style one. Aesthetically, I wanted the scarf to hang down, but I didn't want to keep faffing with the other side falling back over me. So I actually added my handbag as a crossbody initially, just to hold that scarf in place. But it adds a little dress down chic to the look and is helpful at the same time. I would always highly recommend saving up your pennies to buy a beautiful, high quality scarf, rather than say having 20 of them made from acrylic or polyester. Something like this one made from 100% cashmere, or if that's out of budget, think about merino, lamb's wool, or maybe knitted cotton. A beautiful high quality scarf will always look classy. It will never ever date, and really can make an outfit feel just that little bit more luxurious. Outfit six. A lot of the time when I'm creating outfit videos for my channel, I don't really have an idea of what look I'm going to do exactly. I just tend to have a bit of a play with the styling, adding pieces in, taking things away, and then just stopping when I feel like me. So I'd highly recommend you try this process for yourself at home. By all means, take pictures of the looks that I share on my channel, and then just pick out similar items from your own wardrobe. Don't get too hung up on a particular shade that I've used. It's really about capturing the essence of an outfit that works the best. So in this look, I knew I wanted to wear my leather trousers again, but I wanted something a little more polished than what I did before with my Chelsea's. So I added in my pointed toe ankle boots, and I thought about a blouse or a shirt that I might layer with a blazer over the top. The outfit went through a few twists and turns before I finally settled on a half zip jumper in this lovely deep plum tone. I did debate a coat, but it felt a bit too warm to have another heavy layer, so I decided to use an extra jumper as a scarf instead. The black ties in nicely with my trousers and boots. The texture contrasts beautifully against that ribbed knit, and the overall effect is classy, put together, and most importantly, it feels like me. If you're on the hunt for a half zip jumper yourself, you're definitely in luck because the high street is full of them at the minute. The one I have is also available in a light camel or a beige tone. And I really like this version at Arquette with the zip across the shoulder. It's something just that little bit different. Outfit seven. Outfits don't get much easier than a pair of trousers and a roll neck, but hopefully you agree it's the little details that can make an outfit like this really stand out. Firstly, I've opted for layers underneath rather than over the top of this outfit. I've got a fairly tight cashmere crew neck underneath that turtleneck jumper. 
and my tights under those trousers. I really like how the tights and then my loafers keep the line of dark running all the way down to my toes. It really elongates your shape while being practical at the same time. I was even warm enough to do a bit of a turn up on those trousers. It gives the outfit a bit of a cute edge, creates a nice silhouette and makes the shoes stand out even more. I finished with another scarf, this time a knitted cotton version that I got from a brand called Riona and my classic black handbag from Palem Paris. I'm imagining all of you have some sort of version of a roll neck in your wardrobe that you could easily recreate this look with. But try and remember those little details as well. Do your sleeves look better turned back? Would your hair look more chic tucked into your scarf? Maybe your jumper looks more effortless when it's tucked in, or perhaps just a slouchy half tuck works best. They're little details, of course, but they're often the elements that give an outfit its edge. Outfit eight. Hopefully you all saw my wearable fashion trends video from last week. If you missed that, I shall link it in the description box below so you can watch it at the end of this one. It contained just about everything you need to know about the fashion trends for spring summer 2022. So I'm thinking and hoping it will be a handy one to refer back to. But there I was talking about straight minimalist tube dresses sticking around for another season, which I think is great news to hear as I'm imagining lots of you already invested in this trend before. So there's no need to buy anything new. Don't you love it when that happens? If you don't already have one in your own wardrobe, however, don't panic. It won't be long until the high street is full to the brim of them again. But the key to this trend is straighter maxi shapes like this, rather than anything say too floaty. Anyhow, I've digressed. So this look is utilizing my version that I already have in beige. Underneath that dress, I've got my tights on again and I've added my knee high boots. I tend to reach for those ones the most when I'm wanting to have that much lighter palette. Although lengthwise, my lovely knitted cardigan doesn't quite reach to the same level as the dress, I don't think it really matters. It's a pretty drapey fit, so I just about get away with it and I just love the texture it brings to that look. Long draped cardigans like this can actually be really handy to have, especially as we move into that more transitional period. You don't quite need a coat, but you do kind of need something. I do tend to reach for this one a lot. And that's it, lots of easy outfits for you to recreate with lots of beautiful pieces that didn't cost a fortune. Hopefully proving that you don't need to break the bank to look classy and chic this season. It is genuinely down to how you style those pieces that truly matters. Don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit that I've featured today. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would be really grateful for that too. Happy styling everyone, have a good week, and I shall see you next Sunday.